Good morning. Hello and welcome everyone to uh, Baptiste Power Yoga Phoenix. My name is Brian Thomas and I'm excited to announce today's Badass Baptiste Teacher of the Week. Uh, today we are having a guest teacher, uh, Dan Baker, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. And I met Dan a few years ago at a Baptiste week-long program and we had like an immediate connection due to our, our military affiliation and we're so excited to have Dan come on this today and take us through like a really fun and playful and his expression of a powerful 30 minute journey into power uh, Baptiste yoga practice. Uh, and there we are. Hello, Brian. What's going on, man? How are you, brother? Good. Let me adjust this down here a little bit now that you're live with me. Welcome, Dan. Thank you so much for being here today with us. And um, yeah, I'd like to turn it over to you if you want to give a, I give a quick introduction, a little bit about who you, who you are and how we met. But um, yeah, tell, tell our, all of our viewers who you are, where you come from, what you do. Awesome, Brian. Uh, well, and just first, first of all, thank you too for, for inviting me. I uh, truly feel honored to do something like this. Uh, it's like reaching out to the community throughout the world, throughout the U.S. I really appreciate you doing that, Brian. So, and plus too, you're a fellow, a fellow brother in arms. So I am an army, an army retiree, did 21 years in. Um, yeah, it's like I found yoga after the army, which is kind of a, a later on in life type thing, but definitely found the Baptiste show as well, really connected with that. I've been teaching now for four years. Uh, one of my passions when teaching is arm balance inversions. So I would give lots of options. Like, yeah, if you look at my gram stuff, you see that I'm on my hands a lot. Uh, for me, it brings two things. It brings empowerment and it brings play. So I think that's really important for, for your practice, just being playful, being lightful, not taking yourself seriously. I did that for 21 years. I choose not to do that anymore. So it's like, I'm all about light, I'm all about playful. So, but also too, saying that on the flip side, I'm about challenge. So that's, that's, what's, that's also what this flow is gonna be like. It'll be JIP similar, uh, but definitely some, some, some additions to it. So I'm, re I'm ready to begin if you are, Brian. Yeah, um, just before that, I just wanna say that I, um, and I love that. I, I, what I love so much about these classes every week, we're inviting so many teachers from all over the globe. And it's really, I'm really, I get anxious to see like what Dan's going to do this week and what someone did last week. I just, because I give you the instructions, you're like, give me your expression of JIP. I'm just ready to see what it, what it feels like in my body. So, yeah. All right. Um, let me get set up here and move my camera back a bit so my mat shows up for everyone watching. And, and we'll actually start to on our backs. Okay. Let me just drop this down a little bit. And then I'll see Mal444 want to. I want to welcome you for joining us. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I love to start with core. One of my one of my one of my philosophies in yoga is strong core, strong shoulders makes for fun yoga. So I'm all about working core. I'm all about working shoulders. And and uh, so, so go ahead and take your feet straight to the ceiling, Brian. Take your hands by your side. Lower your legs down one third of the way. Hold there for a moment. Bring them down another third. Now hover them right over the mat. Raise your head, look at your toes, and flutter. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take them back up to 90. Now take your arms up to 90 as well. Bring your heels to touch and then separate your toes. Yeah, kind of like, kind of like with duck feet. Lower them down a third. Another third. Hover the mat and then heel tap. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Legs back up to 90. Now take your hands in back of you. Reach to the back of your mat, but float your arms, float your hands. Now big toes touch, heel separate. <laughs> Lower them down a third. And trust me, I got lots of core stuff. <laughs> down a third. <laughs> Hover the mat now, toe tap. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back up to 90, everything up to 90. Now either use your core or grab your legs, come up into high boat. All right, hands to heart center. I'll be, I'll be nice-ish. Hands, hands to heart center. Roll your shoulders back, press your chest to the ceiling. Now, as, 
keeping your, your, your torso as still as you can, extend your legs straight. And then bring them back in. And, and then we'll do that again. We'll go 10 out, back in, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Downward facing dog. However you choose to get there. Be as playful as you want. Yeah, and then go ahead and walk it out here for a little bit. Say, hello, core. Hello. One of the good things about, like, starting core is you get the core out of the way. Doesn't mean I'm, I'm, I might be entirely done with core. I never really know. I'm very organic with my flow here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it out through your nose. Yeah, go ahead and start to build and cultivate your breath of victory. Breath in. Breath out. Press your heels down towards your mat. Take one more breath. Let it go. Look at your hands. Step or walk forward. Ragdoll forward fold your choice. Be intentional with your foundation. Now press the center of your heels, your big toe mouse. Press those down into your mat. Now pull your core up and in. And then press your Lululemon symbol to the ceiling. If you're wearing women's leggings. <laughs> <laughs> Because because we know that the guys is on the back of the left leg. Right there. <laughs> there it is, yep. And then take two more inhales and exhales. Yeah, and I will encourage additional movement in all the poses I call, except for that very last one. That's where I'll encourage stillness. One more breath. Release your hands down towards your mat. Halfway lift. Take a breath in. Fold forward. Let it go. Extended mound, press to your feet, reach up, look up. Fold forward, exhale back down. Halfway lift, take another breath. High plank, stay there. Now get integrated into your high plank, press your heels to the back of your mat, pull your core up and in. Core is always active. Elevate your right heel about two inches off the mat. Now lower down into low plank, chaturanga. Now, right foot comes down, elevate left heel, go back up into high plank. Lower back down into low plank. That foot comes down, elevate the other foot, go back up into high plank. Take both feet down, low plank, roll forward, upward facing dog, stay there, continue to breathe. Pull your shoulders into your upper back, and I love to do side to side movement here. Yes, like maybe look over your shoulder, Started, starting to get into your obliques, your side muscles. Downward facing dog. Three cycles of breath. Breathe in. Two more. Inhale. Let it go. Last breath. Exhale. Look forward. Step, jump, float forward. Halfway lift. Fold. Extended mount, reach to the ceiling, root through your feet. Fold forward. Keep that core active. Flat spine, take that breath in. High to low plank. Upward facing dog, take a breath in. Downward facing dog, let it go. Right foot, warrior one. You must have your, your, your phone spun around because it looks like your left foot's forward, so it's kind of throwing me off. That's all right. I can deal. Interlace your fingers in back of you. Yeah, and then press your fingers right down that back leg as you pull your shoulders in. Yeah, so interlace in back of you. Oh. Good. And then, yeah, open the chest, press your shoulders towards each other. And then come into Humbled Warrior. Drop that left palm down. Come into a revolved low crescent lunge. Yeah, elevate that back heel. Nice, Brian. All right, here comes something tricky. Ready? 
Side plank. With that grounded hand, yeah, so one foot steps back, side plank. Stay for three. Go ahead and float that top leg, you know you want to. Two, listen, flip dog. Yep. Yeah, so that top leg comes all the way back, flip dog. There you go. Yeah, nice, yes. Stay for three. Stay for two, ready, listen. Step forward, high crescent lunge. And the heart center. Revolve. Yeah, and then let's let's build a little stirasuka here. Let's build some of that to pause, some of that tension release, all the yummy things that Bhakti Shoga loves to do for your core and keep turning your bottom chest muscle up towards the ceiling. Stay active in that back heel, press to the back of your mat. Step forward into, into chair pose prayer twist. Stay for three, two, keep twisting. Fingers to toes forward fold. Split your feet, grab your big toes. Chicken wing your elbows out to the size of your mat. There you go. Yeah, there's they're just a slight delay. Crow pose, go for it. You got five, four, three, two, one. Low plank, flow through. Take that breath. Yes, nice. Downward facing dog. <laughs> Warrior one, left foot. Yeah, again, get in, get intention with, with your foundation. Press your feet into your mat. Press your hips down lower toward your mat. And humble the warrior. Interlace and back. Shoulders pull together as your chest presses forward. And then the challenge of can you touch your forehead down to your mat? <laughs> Maybe someday, right? Close. Close, yes. Sometimes it's, it, it kind of seems like it's miles away. Revolve low crescent lunge. Press your front hip to the back of your mat. And then pull that bottom chest muscle towards that front knee. There you go. Three, two, side plank. Yeah, and then like, can you step back with that leg floating? And then keep it floating. You got three again. Fullest expression. Two. One. Flip your dog. Flip dog or wild thing. I'd like, I'd like to give the option there. Again, you got three inhales and exhales. Pull your legs towards each other. Squeeze into your center line. You got two. Squeeze your shoulder blades in towards each other as well. Continue to center line it. High crescent lunge. Yes, yeah, set the pose. Hands to heart center. Revolve. Be intentional with that back heel. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of steer going on with that with that with your back heel. Yeah, keep pressing it back and don't forget about your front foot as well. Press it into your mat. Now, and I get really strong on that front foot. Step forward into into Thunderbolt Prayer Twist. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Hello, quadriceps. Love working quads. Why did I drink last? Say for three. <laughs> you never tell the yoga teacher that. Two. Palms to toes forward for a gorilla. Hmm. 
Now, I love being a little silly here, obviously. So while standing on your hands, take three steps back. Mostly, mostly, mostly because I just love to watch people do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then give me another crow, your last crow. You got four. Yeah, it's like how seamless, how effortlessly can you get into the pose? You got three, two, low plank, flow through, vinyasa. Nice, nice flow. Oh. Take a breath in. Sigh it out. Ha. Again, like that. Breath in. Sigh. Ha. Good. Seal the lips. Come back to your ujjayi. Rise up on your toes. Bend your knees. Look forward. Pull your core in. Step. Jump. Float forward. Halfway lift. Fold. Extended mountain. Dancer's pose on the right side. So like dancer's pose is one of my, I would say one of my no poses, or, or actually it's one of my, my least favorite balance poses because I literally dance around on my mat, but that just means it's something I need more. So I try to always work it into my flow. Yeah, and, that, and I have my hand right there against your palm, giving you a great assist, Brian. I feel it. Good. Now stay here. Come into tree. Yeah, so keep the foot elevated. Come into tree pose. Fullest expression. Five. Yeah, maybe great branch. Take your, your eye gaze up. You can try closing your eyes. You got three. Two, one, release. Dancer on the left. And go right into it. Press the sole of your foot up to your ceiling. And I have my palm right there against you, Brian, again. Three, two, Rixasana, tree. And then again, your fullest expression. To me, yoga is all about accessibility, opportunity. So it's like giving that access for something. It could be physical. It could be mental. It could be emotional. It could be something else. But yeah, it's like accessibility. Three, two, one. Release. Extend a mountain. Take a breath in as you reach up. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift or crow pose, breathe in, low plank, exhale back. Upward facing, breathe in, downward facing dog, triangle, right foot forward. Yeah, go right into it. No fuss, no muss. Press your feet firmly into your mat. And then try to squeeze your heels right into each other. Yeah, then I'm going to try something on. Try to close your eyes. Yeah, this, this withdrawal of senses. Now, with your eyes still closed, come up to stand. Turn your left toes or, or, your, or, or your toes to the side of your mat. And then with your eyes still closed, side facing wide leg forward fold. Once you're folded, open your eyes. And then opportunity here, you got five inhales and exhales. I know that for me, that opportunity is, yeah, I'm going straight to straddle press. You got three. Two. Here's the challenge. Close your eyes again. Rise to stand. Turn your left toes to the back of your mat. Triangle. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like it's 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 an opportunity. It's an accessibility to really get into your body, really feel within, not just using your eyesight as a frame of reference, but like looking seriously within. What is my body doing? In this proprioception. Three, two. One, open your eyes, rise up, step to the top of your mat. Extended mountain, breathe in. Fold forward, exhale. Halfway lift, high plank. Stay there. At a count of five, we're going to lower down. Ready? Five, four, slow descent, three. I know you're used to doing Air Force push ups, but these are Army. <laughs> Two, one, come all the way down. You're welcome. <laughs> Hands by your side, Locust Pose. Come on now, shot, shot fired, right? Locust Pose, rise up. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Bend the knees, grab the shin, the ankles, the toes, floor bow. Set your foundation again, rise up. Press those feet straight to the ceiling. And then press those 10 digits straight to the back of your mat. You got three. Fullest expression here. Two. One. Release. We'll do one more because I I want to be one want, want to be playful here. Rise back up. Now stay in the form of the pose, but roll over to your right side. <laughs> and then for the challenge. Come back center again. Stay in the form of the pose. Go to to your other side. It's like you're a turtle on, on your shell. You can't get back. Rise back up. Fullness expression. Three, two, one. Release. Windshield wiper leg side to side. And roll over onto your spine. Bridge. We'll do one bridge, one wheel. Yeah, so rise up. Again, meeting life where life meets you with no fuss. Good. Stay in bridge. Now set your hands for wheel. Rise up. You got 10, 9. Press that chest forward. 8, 7. Squeeze your knees towards each other. 6, 5. Four, try to elevate an appendage. It could be arm or leg. It doesn't matter. Four, three, two, one. Supta Baddha Konasana. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. In order to heal it, you got to feel it, right? Breathe. Happy baby. And then be a playful happy baby. Playful happy baby. This is probably one of my most favorite poses in order to be playful. It's like some people see it as a pose of, 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 of vulnerability just because of placement of things. But to me, it's an accessibility to be playful and light. You see a baby grab their feet, and they're, they have not a care in the world, just playful. Hello, Bat. Hello, Brandon. I see you joining, brother. Oh, yeah. You missed all the fun stuff, Brandon. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is the pinnacle of it. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Let's go. Let's go half pigeon right side. And your choice of half pigeon, yeah, you can take recline, you can come forward. But I want you to bring some awareness, some, some intentionality on that front hip. So it's like you can either press that front hip down or press that in, the, in, the, in that feet, your foot, back. No, no, Brandon, you're the best, brother. These 30 minutes go by so quickly.
Drop in. Switch to the other side. Yeah, how seamless, how flawless, how effortless can you go from side to side, pose to pose? Love working on economy of motion, going from pose to pose. Because for me, it's that accessibility thing of getting into the pose and then really enjoying the meat of it. Great breath, Brian. Take a breath in again. Do one more. Seated forward fold. Adjust your foundation. You know, that fleshy part in your, your, your butt cheeks. And then as you work with your easeful breaths out, can you come into the pose deeper? And it's like, what accessibility is there for you if you have calmness of mind, calmness of breath? Reverse tabletop. Shoulder stand inversion of your choice. Plow, Death Yogis, that's there for you as well. And I'll hold you here for 60 more seconds. And this practice, it, it, it gives me an opportunity for so many powerful things. And like sometimes that, that power is just showing up. Not just showing up for myself, but like, you know, like especially showing up for myself, but really showing up too for others. Go and start coming down to your spine. Bring the soles of your feet to the mat. Take your feet about outer hip width distance. Tee out your arms. Drop your knees over to your right. If you want to, you can take that left foot to that right knee. Your bottom foot to your top knee. Yeah, that's there for your assist and your twist. Come back to center. Go the other direction. The same opportunities there as well. You can assist yourself in your own twist. Savasana. Let your toes fall out. Let your shoulders fall down. And just breathe.
Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Again, take a deeper breath in. Let it go. And then finally, your deepest breath in. Let it go. <sighs> Come on up into a seated pose. Hands at your heart center, eyes open and close. Bring your, bring your thumbs to your forehead center. The light in me sees and acknowledges that bright light in you, Brian, and I seriously thank you for this honor. We bow to each other, we get, and together we say, yeah. Namaste. Yes, kick ass. Whoa. Yeah, Dan, thank you. Um, on behalf of Baptiste Power Yoga Phoenix, really quick, I forgot to ask earlier, um, can you tell everyone, if it's people that are watching this and they really want to take your class again, do you offer online sure. or you have studio? And first of all, I'm in the mid-Tennessee mid area. Um, I'm about 30 miles from Nashville. Uh, I do teach at a studio too in Nashville called Small World Yoga. Obviously, you know Liz. Um, so I do teach there Wednesdays at noon, that's Central Standard Time. It's also too virtual. So yeah, we do we do in studio class and also to it it's also it, it's also streamed virtually. Uh, so like, yeah, if you guys are interested in in taking one of my class, one of my sixty minute classes where I still have fun and I still play and still challenge, um, look look up Small World Yoga or Baptist Power Yoga Nashville, and uh, yeah, there's there's links there that you can that you can sign up for. The awesome thing about Small World Yoga is that it's a, it's a nonprofit. It's five dollars a class. Just five dollars a class. So yeah, and this goes back to us giving back to the to the Nashville area. So yeah, we're like at 140 different locations there. Well, I mean, well this was pre-COVID, but it's like yeah, we're 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 in the homeless shelters, we're in the prisons, we're in the community, just like giving back. Mm. Um, I also teach too in Clarksville. I teach in Power Flows in Clarksville. I'm very much connected to with the veterans and active duty, and um, yeah, it's like it, so like for me, it is very much of. I wish I did yoga when I was serving. I really, truly wish I did. I can only imagine the different man I would have been, the different husband, the different soldier, the different leader. I'm just like the different human I would have been if I was doing yoga when I was serving. I wouldn't have taken myself so, and so seriously. You know, it's like now it's just about being playful and light and giving back. And that's, that's like the grounding. That's my, my, you know, my reason to be now. Words out of my mouth, bro. Like, I, I second and third that. Yeah, for anyone watching, if you're someone in your life that's a, a veteran or anyone for that matter, like listen to those words, share this with them, and you know it'll hit them. That's how it hit me. Someone drug me to a class 11 years ago, 10 years ago, and I never thought I'd be one practicing a, a yoga class, two teaching a yoga class, three owning a yoga studio. <laughs> right. And meeting others like-minded, unlikely yogis, as I call myself. I drink beer. I eat meat. I play with guns. We blow shit up, and we do yoga. Ditto. Yeah, yeah. ditto. Yeah, check out Dan. Check out Small World Yoga. They're friends of ours. Uh, the Baptist community, we're all friends. We all support one another. It's not just about Baptist Power Yoga Phoenix or wherever you're at. We're a global community. We support and uplift each yep. other. You got Brandon on here. He owns uh, Baptist Power Yoga Fort Myers out in Florida. Check Brandon, his classes out, his online, his virtual stuff that he's up to in the world. Dan mentioned he's at Small World Yoga, and he's also at uh, – Baptist Power Yoga Nashville, again, all good friends of ours. There's enough room in this world for everyone, and we all do it kind of differently, and this is amazing to, like, to have this opportunity. Brian, love you, brother. You too.